Hello everybody, my name is Phantom Girl and welcome back to Undertale. We are uh, investigating the secret lab that Alphys have and let's go to the right, I suppose. Entry number 7. We will need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Hmm. How am I reading this? I'm facing the wrong direction. How did I even do that? Enter number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Uh oh. Uh, hello, smiley face. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're the guy who does not like to be picked on. And I guess you're Washu what? And Hum? Hum is Siren? I'm not sure. Uh, Queen, you washed your hands, nothing happened. Damn. Damn it. Oh no, you look so creepy. Why is it so creepy? Pecan? You pecan. It seemed effective. Oh no. No, don't attack. Uh, hum? You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. What do you mean no one heard me? Oh my gosh. Ow! Mystified. You did something mysterious, so Ignatin has more to learn from this world. Uh, I think butterflies are a little bit easier to dodge. I'm going to die, cinnamon bun. Pray? You kneel and pray for safety. Re Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Courage, Ribbit, Ribbit. So it's Ribbit, the guy who pick on, and someone else. There we go. No gold though. Sad. Oh, I don't have the blue key. Cold. That's all you could read. Okay. So we have to look for it where it's cold. Let's heal. Let's go right first. Entry number 11. Now that Me Metaton made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except uh, uh, to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid that if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. <laughs> okay, the music stopped, it got quiet. There's a switch on the wall. Yes. Hello, another monster. It's a dog. Damn it. Um, I wish I could have a stick. No. Um, I don't have a stick with me, but this is creepy. Uh, is it bacon? Or pet? Pet? Okay, it's way too far away, damn it. Oh no, why is it so creepy? Okay, uh, Beckon, you call the Amalgamite. It bounces towards you, flicking on a strange liquid from an or, or uh, whatever it is. Oh damn you! Oof! 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 You! 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 No! You pet the Amalgamite. It comes rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shuts away and calls wildly on the walls. 
Oh, I love the arrows more. Uh, play? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. That might brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. The amalgamite is very tired. It means so it's, uh, it's dripping among the body on you. Please don't kill me, 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 please don't kill me. Play? You're tired to play. Okay. Pet? You pet the amalgamite. It starts to generate a st stage I, I happiness fraud. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 Pet again? You pet the decently, the Amogamai seems to be satisfied by all dice. And we have cats. And Dogany is contented. Haha. That was a cool boss. Or a mini boss, actually, not a boss. Let's go heal again. This one is my favorite so far. Into number 15? Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the whistle to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. But what did go wrong? Because I see that these amalgamites are not home and he did something to them. Number 16. No, 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 no. Hello. I'm just trying to be friendly for a neighborhood. And no one is there. Yay, a green key. Uh, yay, wait. Uh, my heels. I remember something fishy about this. Yep, it's a safe thingy. Siren! And then someone else. Hum, you hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I hate this. This is way too fast. Unhug, you let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. But nobody came. Ow! This boss is horrible! Snow beast, no, cinnamon bun. Do you think I'm free? Uh, yeah, you are free! Ow! God damn it! Uh, I hate the teeth part! Uh, flex? You flex your arm! Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. And you! Okay, I can spare you now. Also, this thing reminds me of Mega Flowey. What did you do here, Alphys? Enter number 4. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird snakes. I don't feel like Asgore's to watch them. I don't think he should. Is there a bunch of... Seems like it's mostly cachos of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized safe for a few straight, sticky ones. Hmm. Uh, same. Uh, yeah, safe one. Psst, Cory. Wake up! Mm -hmm. What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction! Cory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm... Carrots, right? No, no, no! My favorite vegetable is... Edamon... Mom... Me... Get it? I don't... Go back to bed, dear. <laughs> no, no, not yet. 
Now, if I were a dog, what breed of a dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? You be? I would be a Monoranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like that, like this, one day you could be a famous Momidian. Well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and then she just bails on him. Great. Hey, come on, sorry. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Yeah, I don't I didn't say anything. Save number two, so it was Toriel and Asgore and they're having a child. Okay, Noah. Are you ready? Do you do your creepy face? Ah! <laughs> oh wait, I had the lean scap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me! <laughs> I guess I was child, but why me? Why am I there? Howdy, Noah! Smile for the camera! Uh, it's black again. Ha, huh, this time I got you! I left the cap on! On purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason! <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in water cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Hmm. Which one I watched? Did I watch the third one? Oh yeah, I saw this one. Number four. I I don't like this idea, Nova. Uh, what? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Noah. Never. Is it Kara? Instead of Noah, it should be Kara. I mean. Kara or Kara? It's Kara. Yeah, it will be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Hmm. I know that as uh, I mean the. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. Noah, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Noah, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Noah, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said, I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? So... Toriel and Asgore's son and Kara went... Uh, wait, after souls? Nice. So no one on the ground. Under sheets. I already have that key. Extraction machine status inactive. Hmm. Entry number 19. The family families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. So I saw an office lab those letters on the table, so. These are all the letters she didn't open from the families. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Entry number 20. Asgo left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. I'm going to heal. I don't trust anything.
curtain. I already have this piece in. Wait, isn't there like um? Oh damn, that scared me. Oh, I didn't actually know that would work. Oh, it's this guy from Snowden. The music is weird. Joke? You told a bad pun about Snow. Her expression starts to shift. So that's mom. Oh, uh, com uh, combined with vegetoy toy, I suppose. Uh, the mom from Snowden. And the dad is in the hotel of Metaton's hotel. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Oh my gosh, her attacks are even so slow. It's kinda sad. Joke? You told about pun about snow. She doesn't even attack me. Laugh? You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? S Snowy. Aww. Heckle? You said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? Oh my gosh! What did you s Why did I say that? That's horrible! That was horrible! I didn't want to say anything mean! Okay, I have the blue key. Where am I supposed to put it? Not here. I think it was to the right. That should be the last one. Let's go back to the main door. lost his power. Hmm. Okay, it's not working. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Sure, of course. Uh, hello guys. You wanna have fun? Stop! I've got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They got kind of sassy when they don't get feed on time. I think they smell the potato chips so you had and... Wait, what would happen if I didn't have the potato chips? Uh, I, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were a step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something. Cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Ashiko asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical ma matter to the, those concentrations of determination. Their bo uh, bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. 
pretty sure when all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any work and knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrible failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest. Believing, believing in myself. I'm sure there's will be times when there, where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times when not, where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I knew it would be a lot easier to stand up on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Ah. Whoop. Power has been turned on, and everyone is going to return home now. Great job, Alphys. Oh my god, this is creepy. I hear a smiley face. Enter number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgur yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of this garden, there's a something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happened when something without a soul gains a will to live? It became flowy, the flower. To number 18. The flower is gone. It's flowy. Okay. It's a voice you have never heard before. Nova, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Who is speaking? Do you know guys who this person speaking to me is? Because I have no idea. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Nova, see you soon. Oh no, time to crash again into the crazy elevator. Oh, I'm here. The door is jammed shut with wines. So I cannot escape now. And there's no safe thing here. Well, I guess uh, back to Asgore, but I don't have enough healing items, I think. Or do I have? Oh, wait. I want my bar of scotch pie, because if I eat it, as girl will lose the fence. I actually forgot about that, that you can do that. There you go, I'm all ready. Let's battle again. Still no sound, okay now it's here. Welp, I'm going to end this episode here, guys, and the next episode probably is going to be the last one, so I hope you like this one. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment below, and in the next episode, we're going to have a fight with Asgore and finish this game. Cannot wait, so I will see you then. Final goes out, and bye!